Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Whenever people asked me, Abhishek, apart from your channel, what is that one platform that you would recommend for learning DevOps and cloud? I have always recommended Code Cloud as a platform because they have wonderful courses, very well structured. They have cloud labs and everything for you to become a DevOps and cloud engineer. In the past, I have also done videos on their cloud labs, how to make best use of it. I have used Code Cloud Engineer and shown you how to make use of it. But in this video, this is not about cloud labs, but in this video, I have a very exciting update. Some of you might already know it. Code Cloud is currently running a free week. That is, you can pick up any of their standard courses, almost 5,000 plus hours of content, and you can learn that particular course for absolutely free. Subjected to one week timeline, the free week is already started. That is yesterday on Sunday, and you have time till the next Sunday. So six days more where you can pick up any of their standard courses and complete that courses absolutely free of cost. Now you might say, but Abhishek, there is 5,000 plus hours of content. How can I pick up something that helps me learn DevOps or that helps me learn cloud or to become a SRA engineer? So that is why I'm making this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pick up a particular learning path rather than getting lost in hundreds of courses that they have, I will show you how to pick up a learning path and how to complete that learning path in the six days that is left for you. And within the six days, you can complete the learning path and you can become a DevOps engineer ready or SRE engineer ready or cloud platform engineer ready. So please watch this video till the end. It's going to be very exciting. Also. Towards the end of this video, I have a surprise for all of you. A new feature of Code Cloud, which is with Code Cloud AI, especially for our channel subscribers. It is not out yet. So make sure you watch the last three minutes of the video if you want to get a sneak peek of Code Cloud AI. So all that you need to do to get started with the free week is use the link in the description or pinned comment to reach to this page of code cloud and once you are here click on my account or sign up you can either use your google account github facebook x.com or the different options here to create an account with code cloud pretty straightforward i will use my google account and within a few clicks i have my account set up with code cloud and once I have an account, they have a unique dashboard for each learner. So this is my unique personalized dashboard where I can check the different courses that I have picked up. I can track the progress, how much percentage of the course did I complete. Everything that is specific to my learning journey. Now, this is what I was talking about. The courses tab. You can see hundred plus courses that they have they have categorized all of their courses into standard free and pro tier so pro tier is typically a course with the cloud labs in this free week you can access any of the courses that are with the free label which are free tier as well as the standard tier so you can also use this standard tier courses and access them throughout this week. Let me pick up one of these courses and show you how exactly these courses are organized. I can use this filter and I can select the category as let's say DevOps and see what are the different DevOps courses with standard and free tire. So I have one course here, Docker Swam by Mumshad himself. So Mumshad is the instructor. The reason why I recommend 
code cloud as a platform because their courses are quite organized as i keep saying in my videos in my playlists when you want to learn a particular concept you need to start right from the fundamentals this is exactly what mumsha does in this particular tutorial or in this particular course you can see there are 11 modules and the course is about docker swam but mumsha starts with introduction of docker swam where the what and why aspect of docker swam is covered then you will learn how to install and set up docker on windows you will learn docker architecture in depth you will learn about docker compose only then you will move towards learning about docker swam so you already have a clear picture of the fundamentals before you start with docker swam and this is exactly how you should learn a particular concept so similar to this docker swam course there are 100 plus courses as i have mentioned now the question is abhishek how can i make the best use of the platform for the next six days so there are 100 plus courses but i want to prepare a particular thing like devops or platform engineer or site reliability engineer so how will i know which courses should i pick and how many courses should i pick that's why they have something called as learning paths so fortunately code cloud has created learning paths for all of the technologies like you have learning path for cloud engineer you have learning path for devops engineer kubernetes administrator developer platform engineer site reliability engineer as well as system administrator so any particular stream that you want to pick up they have roadmap along with the courses so you don't have to go for multiple paces or you don't have to get lost my particular favorite is devops engineer learning path where they have set of 10 plus courses where you can start with devops prerequisite course just like how i explained the fundamentals of devops that you start with then you go with another course that covers the fundamentals of devops this will be your first step in the learning path in the second step you will cover linux where you will learn about the basics of linux as well as shell scripts so you will learn shell scripts with beginner level expertise then in the step 3 you will move towards advanced concept of programming where you can pick up python or golang i would recommend python because python is essential and quite commonly used by devops engineers golang is little advanced so within the six days if you want you can ignore the golang part in the step four you will learn about version control system where you can pick up the git for beginners course that is mentioned here in the step five you will learn about jenkins as well as ci cd ci cd using jenkins in the step six you will learn about containers through docker step seven you will learn about container orchestration you can see how organized the things are exactly like the devops roadmap that i have suggested in the previous videos everything is organized then you will learn about infrastructure as code that is using terraform after learning all of these things you have the advanced concepts such as helm istio gitops prometheus for observability and finally you also want to become interview ready right so for that they have devops interview preparation course so everything in a particular order which is roadmap plus courses so you can also learn the roadmap and you can also complete courses and finish the dots in the roadmap so this is the learning path that i want to recommend to my subscribers in the next six days let me know in the comment section how many of you want to pick up this learning path and complete the learning path now it's time for the sneak peek of code cloud ai which i mentioned in the beginning of the video 
this is exclusive for our subscribers the feature is not launched yet so it will be available for public in the near future but we have a sneak peek hi coclav ai assistant it says create a new pod with the nginx image perfect to create a new pod with the nginx image you can execute the command to run nginx with the image set to nginx go ahead and execute that command and let me know how it goes what does an ng nginx image mean that's a great question just think of the nginx image as a ready to use package that allows you to run a web server it's like having a pizza delivered instead of making it from scratch now are you ready to run the command to create the pod? It's a great explanation. So I ran a command and it says error unknown flag. Could you check that for me, please? It looks like the task of creating a new pod with the Nginx image was not completed successfully. The result indicates that either the pod named Nginx does not exist or it has an incorrect image. To troubleshoot this issue, you can check if the pod exists and what image it is using by running the command to get the pod named Nginx in the default namespace. If the pod does not exist, you can create it by executing the command to run Nginx with the Nginx image in the default namespace. This will create a new pod with the correct Nginx image. Give it a try and let's get that web server up and running. It says pod created. Can you check that everything is in order? Great news. Your task to create a new pod with the NGNX image has been successfully completed. The pod named NGNX is running smoothly. It is using the correct NGNX image. If you want to verify the status or details of your pod further, you can execute the command to describe the pod named nginx in the default namespace. This will give you more insights into the pod's configuration and current state. Keep up the awesome work. And how do I check how many pods have been created? To check how many pods have been created, you can execute the command to get the pods. This will list all the pods in the default namespace along with their statuses. Count the number of pods listed and you'll have your answer. Give it a go. All right, it looks like I've got four parts and the answer is correct, thank you. Fantastic. You've successfully created the Nginx pod and confirmed that there are four pods in total. If you're ready for the next question or need help with anything else, just let me know. Keep up the great work. Thank you.